Hi guys, in this video I am going to cover few more Informatica cloud interview questions and answers. The first one is what is the mapping configuration task or mapping task in IACS and uh, the second one is explain about task flow in IACS. Third one is what is the difference between a task flow and linear task flow and fourth one is what is the rank transformation in Informatica and fifth one is how the Informatica server source the string values in rank transformation and sixth one is can we run Informatica power center jobs in Informatica cloud let's go for the answers what is the mapping configuration task or mapping task in IACS a mapping configuration task or mapping task in IACS is equivalent to the session in the Informatica power center normally both are same mapping configuration task or mapping task both are same just some people will call it as mapping configuration task the shortcut is MCT or mapping task the shortcut is MT when you create a mapping task you must select a mapping to use in the task mapping task allows you to process data based on a data flow logic defined in a mapping Optionally, you can also configure parameters that are associated with the mapping and also pre and post processing commands and also advanced session properties to boost the performance and also you can configure the task to run on schedule. So we can do scheduling for mapping configuration task. Explain task flow in IACS. Task flow is similar to the workflow in Informatica Power Center. Task flow regulates the execution order of the mapping configuration task or the synchronization task according to the previous task output. To create a task flow, you must first create the task and then add them to a task flow. The task flow allows you to run the task sequentially or parallelly and also to make the decision based on the outcome from one task before triggering the next task what is the difference between a task flow and linear task flow in IACS a linear task flow is a simplified version of the data integration task flow and it groups the multiple data integration tasks and runs them serially in the specified order. If a task defined in a linear task flow gets failed, you need to restart the entire task flow. There is no option to restart the job from failed task. But in task flow, we have that option. It just allows you to run the tasks parallelly and also it is having some advanced decision making capabilities that allows you to either restart from failed task or skip it when a task fails. The next question is how the Informatica server sorts the string values in rank transformation. This is very important interview question for uh, TCS Infosys and also I got this question in Informatica when I attended interview for these organizations I got this question so before going to explain answer for this question I just want to explain what is the rank transformation so what it will do so the rank transformation is one of the transformation available in Informatica I have seen this in uh, this transformation both in IACS and power center it just works like a rank function in the SQL. It just same like that. It just give the ranking on particular field which you have selected in the rank transformation. So and also it just returns either top or bottom values for that particular field on which you are going to sort and give the ranking. It just creates one more port, rank port, for giving the ranking like one, two, three. 
so we can use that rank port for next transformation for making some logic if this if this requirement we have like if you want to sort the string fields like string values then that time how informatica source the data so data integration uses the session sort order configured for the mapping task so what is the property we have used what is the value we have given for session sort order property which is existed in the advanced session properties of the mapping task based on that it just sorts the string values it may be binary or some specific language like danish or spanish if you have some specific requirement like you wanna uh, do sorting on particular language then you have to change that property i'll show that where you have to exactly change that property in the next slide as shown in the screenshot you have to open the mapping task there in the schedules you will see in the top sorry bottom you will see advanced session properties right here we have add button so click on add button just it will uh, show the session property list you have to select the session sort order this is the option and uh, select value as session property value as binary or you know whatever the specific language you want spanish dutch and all so based on this selection in rank transformation the string values string fields it will sort the next question is can we run power center jobs in informatica cloud this is a very important informatica question when the client is having requirement like they are migrating power center jobs to the informatica cloud that time mostly this question they will ask the answer is yes there is a power center task available in the informatica cloud where user have to upload the xml file exported from the power center and run the job as a power center task you can update an in existing power center task to use a different power center xml file but cannot make the changes to the imported xml when you upload a new power center xml file to an existing power center task the power center task deletes the old xml file and updates the power center task definition based on the new xml file content 